Hi all, so today we'll be uh, learning about few more uh, PyTest CLI commands which can be used while executing our tests. So uh, we have right now three tests, right? Right, and uh, in the last or uh, the previous sessions we have learned about like regressions, uh, like markers, like custom markers and also X fail and skip. Uh, now for uh, now let's learn about a new command uh, I mean it's a CLI, CLI command so uh, we need to execute our test based on some keyword so for example there is some keyword called login right so I want to execute the login tests so for that we have already markers for tagging but this is something extra I will show you how it can be useful so let's say we're not using these markers then in that case how can you execute based on some keyword so let's say i want to execute minus s minus v and i this time i'm executing the logout scenario so i can give just minus k and then log out okay if i hit enter now let's see what happens so you can see one selected so that means only logout scenario got selected and it will get executed yes so it's also saying pytest unknown marker uh, the reason is that mark example that is not marked uh, that is not yet added to this any file right but we do not need that so we can remove it and put sanity okay so we learned about this minus k keyword and now let's execute and uh, let's say there is 100 scenarios right you are executing and for example we do not want to execute I mean for example those 100 scenarios are linked together okay and what we want like when, whenever the first failure happens we do not want to execute further so it will be a hard stop there unnecessary we do not want to execute the other tests because that one fail test might ruin all these tests okay so let's stop that and uh, for that we can do like minus x and now we need to make one test failure so here what we can do like login button dot is visible and what we can do we can just make it okay just a second first it will take test 01 and first we will do my, my script right so this test should be executed first okay uh, because th that's how it is given in this uh, framework so what we can do we can make a naming convention as well but it is fine as of now so what I want like after uh, here I need to make a failure so let's say I'm changing this URL to source demo one okay so this assertion will be failed right and after this assertion got failed this tests also got failed and once this test is failed then what happens these two tests will not be executed okay that is why I'm giving this minus x So you can see stopping after one failure. So that tests that test was a headless test. So that is why no browser got opened. Uh, but that assertion got failed because page URL is expected that it, this source demo one, but we are getting source demo. So I'm changing it right now. So this one, right? So let's make it correct yeah okay so we understood like if I give this by test minus X then this will work like this okay so use it whenever it is required to use and let me see any other good thing like we run all tests starting with the fail test okay so uh, we can do this one first we run the last fail test only so <coughs>
okay so uh, we run the first uh, fail test only what you can do like uh, pi test minus l f okay so that is last field will be executed only okay what is saying like uh, pi test options argument minus l ignore explicit f okay so we give a mis did a mistake so it is dash dash lf so as you can see this test got passed because we changed uh, the error right so the url was source demo one we made a change with source demo and now it is passing right so this is how let's say some in some for some reasons your uh, you executed all 100 scenarios and let's say seven or eight scenarios got failed but you want to re-execute those all failed scenarios uh, so using this command uh, minus lf you can execute all those failed scenarios right so no need to do any other um, coding for that to run those tests or it is very easy right okay so next uh, we can there is one more command like if uh, all the failed first and then already re execute all the test right so what we can do first we need to fail it and then we can need to execute it so sorry i was going to this one okay so this one we run all the tests are starting up with the failed scenarios right so again let's do a fail uh, let's make it fail and this time i'm giving by test uh, minus x because I want to fill it and so it should be filled yeah stopping after one fill you now what we can do we can make it minus dash dash ff okay and this time what should happen like first it will execute the failed scenario and then it will execute other tests as well so the first got failed again because we didn't change it and the next one is got executed and successfully passed okay now let's do one thing uh, let's change this sequence so I'm renaming it with uh, refactor rename and I'm making it test 0 1 no 0 2 refactor and here this one I'm making is making it as test 0 1 and refactor okay and now I'm changing it I'm correcting it actually so source demo was the right one now let's execute it now you can see uh, first one is like browser got open right because we changed the sequence so okay all three passed right so we run all the tests starting with the fail test but we didn't see it uh, actually what I wanted to show you like let's let me fail this first okay so what I wanted to mean like minus FF flag will be you uh, if I if I use this minus FF flag then the failed scenario execute will be executed first and then the remaining scenarios will be executed okay so now I'm executing with minus x command so now this time all the tests will be executed in sequential order because that is how we have we have configured it so test test 0 1 having these two tests and test 0 2 is having this headless test okay this test should be failed yes and now if I run it with hyphen hyphen ff 
now it first execute this fail test okay and then it should execute the other two tests yes so this is again failed because that is expected because we didn't change it but yeah the flag is working as expected or that is how it should be working okay so we learned all this about these things and the another one which is pending it is you can try it by your own allow maximum failure before stopping so uh, it is same as similar as this one but it is stopping at the first failure instead we can configure like what is your maximum failure okay let's say you want to stop after executing three fail scenarios so in that case it is as fail okay so i'm not showing it but yeah it is it can be used as well thank you for watching let me know if you have any questions